my name is Farida Zahra. My name is Talita Dewanti. So in this session, we want to perform how to measure the range of motion and then the muscle strength of the knee joint and then the shoulder joint. So let's do it. Position of patient is lying prone to make it free from any restriction and to allow the maximum of knee flexion. Position of the examiner is beside the lower extremity that we're testing. Using goniometer, and put the axis on the lateral condyle of femur with the stationary arm on the mid of femur and the moving arm on the mid of the leg. Position of patient is lying prone. Ask patient to do maximum knee flexion. Position of patient is lying prone. For grade 4, ask patient to do knee flexion and give resistance on the proximal of tibia. And for grade 5, ask patient to do knee flexion and give resistance on the distal of tibia. Position of patient is lying side. Ask patient to do maximum knee flexion with this position. With the same position, palpate the contraction of flexor muscle with hand. Patient is in the sitting position and then the examiner is beside of the lower extremity that we're testing. The axis of the goniometer will be in the lateral condyle of femur with the stationary arm in the middle of the femur and then the moving arm will Patients is in the sitting position and ask the patients to do maximum knee extension. Ask the patients to do knee extension with one hand stabilized on the distal femur and another hand is give resistance on the mid of the tibia. Give a maximum resistance just above the ankle joint. Position of the patients is lying side and then ask the patients to do maximum knee extensions with these positions. in the lying supine and then palpate the contractions of the extensor muscles with hand. Patients is in the sitting positions with the humerus is neutral. The positions of the examiners is in the side of the patients. The axis of the goniometer will be in the acromion process and then the stationary arm will be parallel with the trunk and then the moving arm will be in the middle of the patient's arm. Patients in the sitting position and ask the patients to do maximum shoulder flexions. Ask the patients to do shoulder flexions with one hand stabilized on the shoulder joint and another hand give resistance above the elbow joint. Same with the grade 4 but give a maximum resistance on the elbow joint. is lying side and ask the patients to do maximum shoulder flexions with these positions. With the same positions, palpate the contractions of the shoulder flexor with hand. Patients in sitting positions with the humerus is neutral. The positions of the examiners in the side of the patients. The goniometer is same like the shoulder flexions and ask the patients to broke the arm to the back of the body. Patients in sitting positions and ask the patients to do maximum shoulder extensions. Ask the patients to do shoulder extension with one hand stabilized on the shoulder joint and another hand give resistance on the posterior above elbow joint but give a maximum resistance on the elbow joint. Patients in a lying side position and ask the patients to do maximum shoulder extension with this position. Positions palpate the contractions of the shoulder extensor with hand. Position of patient is sitting. Position of the examiner is beside the upper extremity that we're testing. Using goniometer and put the axis on acromion with the stationary arm is perpendicular to the ground. Ask patient to shoulder abduction and the moving arm of goniometer following movement. 
patient to the shoulder abduction. If patient can do this, you can continue to grade 4. Ask patient to do shoulder abduction and give resistance on the proximally from the elbow joint. Patient to do shoulder abduction and give resistance on the distal from the elbow joint. If patient cannot do grade 3, you can directly go to grade 2. Position of patient is lying supine. Ask patient to do maximum shoulder abduction with this position and for grade 1 just pop. Is sitting, the pivimerus is adapted. The elbow is 90 degree flexion. The examiners is on the side of the patient. Axis of the goniometer placed on the olecranon of the elbow. The stationary arm is parallel with the floor and the moving arm in the middle of the forearm. The positions of the patients is lying prone, the examiner is in the side of the patients, the shoulder of the patients is 90 degree abducted with the elbow is flexion 90 degree. One hand stabilize at the shoulder joint and then ask the patients to move the elbow anteriorly. In the same positions, ask the patients to move the elbow anteriorly, one hand stabilize at the shoulder joint and for grade 4, give a some resistance on the wrist joint and then for the grade 5, give a maximum resistance on the wrist joint. Positions, shoulder in 90 degree flexions, one hand stabilize at the shoulder joint and ask the patients to move the wrist and then the thumb outside from the body. Patients in the lying supine positions with the shoulder is 90 degree flexions and palpate the extra rotations muscles with hand. Patients is in the sitting positions with the humerus is adapted and the elbow is 90 degree flexions. The position of the examiners is in the side of the patients. The axis of the goniometer placed on the olecranon process and then the stationary arm parallel with the floor and then the moving arm arm. Patient is in the prone positions and then ask the patients to move the elbow posteriorly. In the same positions, stabilize at the shoulder joint and then ask the patients to move the elbow posteriorly. For the grade 4, give some resistance above the wrist joint and then for the grade 5, give a maximum resistance on the wrist joint. The patient is supine with the shoulder joint is 90 degree flexion and then stabilize the shoulder joint and ask the patient to move the wrist joint in side directions. Patient is supine positions with the shoulder is 90 degree flexions. Palpate the internal rotation muscles of the shoulder to feel the contractions of the muscles. Position of patient is sitting. Position the examiner is behind the patient's back using goniometer and put the axis on acromion with the stationary arm is parallel to the trunk. Ask patient to shoulder horizontal abduction and the moving arm of goniometer should following movement of the mid of the upper arm. Position of patient is lying prone. For grade 3, ask patient to do maximum shoulder horizontal abduction with the elbow flex 90 degrees. With the same position, do the grade 4. Stabilize the scapula and give resistance with 4 fingers. For grade 5, stabilize the scapula and give resistance with hand. Position of patient is sitting. Ask patient to do maximum shoulder horizontal abduction with this position and for grade 1 just palpate the muscle. Of patient is sitting. Position the examiner is behind the patient's back. Using goniometer, and put the axis over acromion with the stationary arm is parallel to the tongue. Ask patient to shoulder horizontal abduction with flexing the elbow and the moving arm of goniometer shield following movement of the mid of the upper arm. Position of patient is lying supine. For grade 3, ask patient to do maximum shoulder horizontal adduction with the elbow flex 90 degrees. With the same position, do the grade 4. Stabilize the shoulder and give resistance with 3 fingers. For grade 5, 
Stabilize the shoulder and give resistance with hand. Position of patient is sitting. Ask patient to do maximum shoulder horizontal adduction with this position. And for great one, just palpate the muscle. Thank you for watching and we hope you can learn something from this video. And see you!